the Gauss's Diverges theorem for this function that is f vector equal to x square i plus y square j plus z square k for region occupied by the cube having the limits x greater than equal to 0 less than equal to 1 y greater than equal to 0 less than equal to 1 and z greater than equal to 0 m less than equal to 1. So let's verify the Gauss's Diverges theorem for this function. Let us denote the surface of this given cube and let V be the region enclosed by the surface S. Then by Gauss's Diverges theorem we know that the surface integral of dot product of f vector with n vector ds is equal to the volume integral of divergence of that f vector dv. Right? So we need to find first the divergence of f vector. f vector is given to us this one where f vector is equal to x square i plus y square j plus z square k. So writing here the volume integral of, okay, divergence of f vector that is del by del x of the first component of f vector. That is this one, x square plus del by del y of second component of f vector that is y square plus del by del z of third component. So this is further equal to the volume integral of, okay, derivating x square with respect to x, we get 2x. Derivating y square with respect to y, we get 2y. Derivating z square with respect to z, we get 2z. dv, taking this two common, and we are having the integrand as x plus y plus z. So this is equal to twice the volume integral of x plus y plus z, writing for dv, dx, dy, dz. Limits are given to us. x is from 0 to 1, y is from 0 to 1, z is also from 0 to 1. These are given to us, right? Okay. Integrating this integrand with respect to x first, we get x square by 2 plus y x plus z x, right? With limits from 0 to 1, dy dz. When putting the upper limit for x, we get this to be as 1 by 2 plus y plus z minus when putting the lower limit we get this to be as 0 so we are having the integrand as 1 half plus y plus z and now integrating this integrand with respect to y so we get 1 half into y plus y square by 2 plus z y with limits from 0 to 1 and dz when putting the upper limit, we get for y, it is 1 half plus 1 half plus z. Minus when putting the lower limit, we get this to be as 0. So this is 1 plus z, right? And now integrating this integrand with respect to z. So we get z plus z squared by 2 with limits from 0 to 1. When putting the upper limit, we get 1 plus 1 half minus. When putting the lower limit, we get 0. So this is 2 into 3 by 2. That is equal to 3. So we are getting the surface integral to be equal to 3. And let me mark this as star. Right? Okay. Let's evaluate the surface integral directly now. And let's verify the result. So this is the cube given to us. Now this cube is having six faces and we need to evaluate the surface integral over all these six faces, right? So let's evaluate first over the surface O, B, M, A. And the outward unit vector drawn normal to the surface is along the negative z-axis, right? So we are taking this to be minus k. And ds is equal to dx dy. So writing here for n vector, negative k. When taking the dot product, we get negative z square. And for ds, I'm writing dx dy. And the limits for x is from 0 to 1. For y, it is also from 0 to 1. On this surface, z is 0, right? So this is 0. So z is 0 on O, B, and A. So the integrand is 0. So we are having 
the surface integral of 0 and this is dx dy so this comes out to be 0 marking this as 1 now let's take surface integral over the surface PLCM that is opposite to this green colored one and the outward unit vector drawn normal to this surface is along the z-axis positive z-axis so we are taking n cap to be equal to k vector and ds is same as dx dy for this surface what is the constant value of z it is 1 right so for this surface n vector is k when taking the dot product we get z square and ds is dx dy from 0 to 1 the limits and on this surface the value of z is 1 it is constant so the integrand is 1 integrating 1 with respect to x we get x for the limit 0 to 1 dy so this is the integral of okay putting the upper limit we get 1 minus the lower limit 0 so it is 1 only and integrating this with respect to y we get y from 0 to 1 so this is 1 minus 0 that is 1 marking this as 2 and now let's take the surface integral over OBLC and the outward unit vector drawn normal to the surface is along the negative x-axis so this is taken to be as minus i cap and for this we are having ds to be equal to dy dz and on this surface the value of x is 0 so n vector is minus i cap double integral of when taking the dot product we get negative x square and ds is dy dz with limits 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 and on this surface x is 0 so this is 0 so we are having the double integral for the integrand 0 so this is equal to 0 marking this as 3 and now evaluating the surface integral over the surface npma which is opposite to this and here the outward unit vector drawn normal to the surface is along the positive x-axis so we are taking n vector to be equal to i vector and ds is again same dy dz and on this surface what is the constant value of x it is 1 right so n vector is i vector double integral when taking the dot product we get x square so ds is dy dz with limits from 0 to 1 and on this surface the value of x is 1 so the integrand becomes 1 so when solving this you get this to be as 1 marking this as 4 and now evaluating the surface integral over OCMA and the outward unit vector drawn normal to the surface is along negative y axis so taking n vector to be minus j cap or j vector so for this ds is equal to yes dx dz and y is 0 on the surface right so n vector is minus j vector and this is double integral when taking the dot product we get negative y square ds is dx dz limits 0 to 1 and on the surface y is 0 so the integrand is 0 so we are having this value to be as 0 marking this as 5 and at last over the surface blpn and the outward unit vector drawn normal to the surface is along the y axis positive y axis so taking n vector to be as positive j vector and ds is same as dx dz and on this surface what is the constant value of y it is 1 so n vector is j vector double integral of when taking the dot product we get y square and ds is dx dz with limits 0 to 1 
and on the surface the value of y is 1 it is constant so the integrand is 1 on solving this integral you get this value to be as 1 marking this as 6 and now we are going to add all these 6 integrals together and we are getting the value for surface integral for the given cube so adding 1 and 2 we get it's 0 and 1 so this is 0 plus 1 from 3 and 4 we get again 0 and 1 and from 5 and 6 we get again 0 and 1 so adding all these we get 3 so which is same as that of this which we have evaluated by using the Gauss's Davages theorem. So both the results are same hence the verification. Alright thank you stay blessed.